On this Two Sip Tuesday, I'm gonna talk about what I like different between a fifth wheel and a travel trailer. So if you wanna know my two cents, keep watching. Since we've owned three travel trailers and two fifth wheels, I wanted to bring this video to you about what our thoughts were on the difference. One of the biggest reasons that we like a fifth wheel over a travel trailer, it usually has higher ceilings and the layouts and stuff for us, it just feels more like home. I just feel like when we are in our fifth wheel, I feel like I'm at home. Both of the fifth wheels, and I wish I had one of our other fifth wheel. Our other fifth wheel had a rear U-shaped kitchen, and that was the reason that we picked that one, was because we loved kitchen feel. And then we picked this one because we loved the hutch and the island. That was the two reasons that we picked our 337. Now, all the travel trailers that we have had, I don't think any of them have slides because typically a lot of the travel trailers don't have slides because they are a lot lighter weight and typically that's why people pick them is because their truck can haul it easier than a fifth wheel. So, but none of ours had slides and it was just so hard to move around in them. I'm sure that maybe if we had had a travel trailer that had slides, it would be better or we might feel different about a travel trailer, but we just never did get one that had slides. And for that reason, it just felt smaller and more cramped. And I've even, we've even looked at travel trailers. When we were looking at this one, we toured travel trailers as well, but we just didn't find any of them that the layout felt homey for us. And that's what we wanted to do with this camper was to have something that felt like home. Travel trailers typically tend to cost a lot less than a fifth wheel. It's because typically they don't have slide outs because some fifth wheels can be pretty pricey compared to a travel trailer. So the first thing I would say is the cost is a big reason a lot of people pick travel trailers over a fifth wheel. When you're comparing a fifth wheel to a travel trailer, as far as the actual trailer goes, a fifth wheel typically has a lot more storage in it, especially like under the belly of it, because like up under the bedroom, it sits up higher. So then you have all that storage to put stuff where if you have a travel trailer, they don't have all that outside storage that a fifth wheel does. The fifth wheel takes up the bed of a truck and you really can't store very much in the bed of the truck when you have a fifth wheel. But if you have a travel trailer, you have the whole bed of the truck that you can use for storage. So I feel like those two things probably weigh each other out. If you want most of your storage in the camper itself, a fifth wheel is what you're going to want. Typically, a travel trailer does not have high ceiling and they're typically a lot lower than a fifth wheel. A fifth wheel is gonna have a lot higher ceilings, way more homey feel. Weight is a big difference between a travel trailer and a fifth wheel. A travel trailer typically weighs a lot less than a fifth wheel. Fifth wheels weigh more and travel trailers weigh less. So a lot of times people get a travel trailer over a fifth wheel because they don't have the vehicle that can pull that. But weight is a big difference is reason that people pick the travel trailer over a fifth wheel is because it weighs a lot less. This is a difference that some campers, nowadays you see a lot more travel trailers with slide outs, but back when we had ours, there wasn't that many travel trailers that had slide outs. You do see that a lot more, but I wanted to bring that up in this video because typically a lot of times you'll see almost all fifth wheels have slides, but you'll also see a lot of travel trailers that don't have slides. 
This is a difference between a travel trailer and a fifth wheel. A travel trailer is typically all one level. You have no steps. You don't have to go up any steps except to get into the camper. On a fifth wheel, you're going to guaranteed to have steps somewhere. And a lot of the new models have double steps in them. You have steps to go to the kitchen or steps to go to the den, and then you have steps to go to the bedroom. But when you have multiple steps like that, that gives you more storage under the underbelly. So some people, like if you didn't want to have to be able to go up and down more steps, a travel trailer might be better for you than a fifth wheel. Between the fifth wheel and a travel trailer, it's totally different towing options. A fifth wheel, you're gonna have to have a hitch in the bed of the truck that's most likely gonna take up space, which means it's not gonna have as much storage room there. Unless you want to have to move it out all the time, that's gonna be something that's gonna be in the back of your truck all the time. To actually use your vehicle, if you don't full time, you're gonna have to take the hitch out to use it as a truck. Or a travel trailer, it's pulled from the bumper and you can just pull the receiver out and you're done. And it's a much easier process. I know there's a lot of different hitch options for fifth wheels that aren't as bad, but I know ours, Bill hates it because he has to get his tractor out to put it in and out of the truck because it is so heavy. Typically, because a fifth wheel weighs a lot more, you're not gonna get as good gas mileage as you are with a travel trailer. Tendency, travel trailers are a lot lighter. They, you might get a better gas mileage with those. And that, for that reason, some people pick the travel trailer over the fifth wheel. I typically notice that in our bedroom, it stays a lot warmer than it does in the main part of the camper. Even though we have two heating and airs, and if you're gonna buy a fifth wheel, do not get one with one heating and air. There is no way that the one main heating and air unit is gonna heat that whole camper. You will be miserable in your bedroom, so make sure you get two units. If you're in like a travel trailer, when we had our travel trailer, we had one unit and it cooled the whole thing fine, no problems. But for whatever reason, in the fifth wheel, if we just ran this one unit, we would be miserable up in the bedroom. And I think it's because it's higher and heat rises. And so that particular room is a lot hotter. Now, we do keep that air conditioner turned down lower, so it does stay even. But if you only had one unit, you would be miserable. I feel like it's easier to back up a fifth wheel than it is a bumper pull. And it's whatever you're comfortable doing. The fifth wheel, it hinges a lot better and you don't have the full length of the camper behind the truck because some of it is over the bed. So you can really turn in a tighter radius in a fifth wheel over a travel trailer. We have absolutely loved our fifth wheels over our travel trailers. I know that like a lot of our travel trailers that we had were from years ago and they probably weren't what's now, but this is all I have to go off of because we have not owned a travel trailer recently. We absolutely love our Grand Design 337 and I would buy another Grand Design in a heartbeat. It has been our favorite. If you like this video, then hopefully you'll like this video that tells you about our 337 after we had had it a year, about what we had liked and didn't like. Till next time, like and subscribe.